Hey guys, my name is Cornell from Sense Quality, and today I'm going to show you the five things that causes low FPS on your gaming PC here. So this is for gamers that really struggle with FPS in their game, and I'm going to show you how to fix these five things in general here. And it's really simple, yet really difficult. Uh, and even top tier PCs, $4,000 PCs, $5,000 PCs struggle with these five things here. So let's start off. So the first thing is going to be your graphics card, right? So a graphics card bottleneck is basically one of the most number one things that causes low FPS in general. And you know what, guys? Let's take it a step back. We all know how cars work, right? So let's, let's actually think of this like a car, right? So I'm going to draw my car here. I am not the greatest drawer, but as you can see, I'm trying my best here. So we have a car, right? And basically, your graphics card is going to be like the engine's horsepower. So like, let's say that this is the engine here, right? So this is going to be like your GPU, right? And your engine's horsepower really matters like in a car. So that's how much power it could put down uh, to the wheels, to the clutch, to the crank, however you say it, um, to go as fast as possible, right? So basically, if you have an underpowered engine, that means that this car is generally slower than a next car, right? And basically, that's the thing that happens like with a lot of people in their graphics card. Usually, your graphics card is out of date, and you're watching a video on YouTube and stuff like that, and you're seeing that this guy is getting way more FPS than you, and you're wondering why. And the number one reason is usually because he has a better graphics card than you, right? So the way to improve that would be to overclock your graphics card, which I'll make a video about that soon. So you should like and subscribe to see that video or to upgrade your graphics card. Of course, overclocking your graphics card is way cheaper uh, and it nets you some pretty good performance here. But upgrading is always going to net you more FPS. It's just like upgrading your engine here. Of course, you're going to get more performance. Now you have a second thing, which is the transmission of your car, right? And this is the CPU, right? So basically, if your transmission takes too long to switch gears, it doesn't matter how much power you have in that car, doesn't matter how much horsepower you have, you're going to lose two cars with better transmissions there. Even if they have an underpowered engine compared to yours, if they have a smooth transmission that goes from first gear to second gear to third gear, or if it's even an electronic car that just goes from zero to 100% of its torque in less than zero, like one second, basically you're going to lose that race, even though you have the best GPU there. So the number two thing that you have to worry about is your CPU here. So basically your CPU is telling your computer what to do at what time. And basically you really want to make sure that you have that intact. And you want to watch, like stay tuned for the rest of this video, because all of these rest of things that I'm about to share with you really really affects your uh, cpu here so you want to watch the rest of this just to see kind of why your cpu or your transmission is kind of slowing you down here and this is why sometimes like when you get on your pc like the pc is feeling really really slow for no reason because your cpu or your transmission is bogged down so basically you're trying to go from first gear to second gear and it's getting stuck your clutch is getting stuck and stuff like that and that's what's happening. Your computer is stalling out here. So that's the second thing that, that causes low FPS there. Now, the third thing is going to be your fuel tank, right? And that's going to be your RAM. So this is a pretty weird one, right? Why is your fuel tank, why does that matter in terms of how much performance you're actually getting in your car, right? So your RAM, like, keeps a storage of all the things that you need for that specific game, right? So basically in a car, you could think of it like this. Basically, if you have the fastest car possible, but it only gets like eight miles per gallon, you're gonna have to take pit stops every now and then. Really, really, like a lot of pit stops. I know like there's this one car, I think it's called the Dodge Demon that I seen, it gets like a thousand horsepower, right? It literally does wheelies off the ground. It is insane, right? But you only get eight miles per gallon. That means that basically you're going to be having to fill up that thing like almost every day, every two days, if you drive it in that mode here. And that's what you really want to think about when it comes to your RAM. You want your RAM to be as large as possible in terms of 
the gigabytes that you have in it, right? And you want it to be the most megahertz possible, right? So I could show you right here, if I go to Task Manager, my RAM is 3,600 megahertz, right? And then it is 32 gigabytes. You can go up to 64 gigabytes there. So basically, like just for RAM, you want to think of it like increasing the amount of fuel that your car can hold. Because if you have more fuel, that will allow you to go a longer distance. And if you're thinking of it as a NASCAR race, right, where they have to go 500 laps around, basically that the more fuel that you can hold in that tank is the longer that you could go at a thousand horsepower or whatever you're running on your GPU or your CPU there. So that's the third thing there, right? So the fourth thing, and this is the most common thing, right? So let's go three, let's go two, let's go one right here, right? So the fourth thing is overheating, right? So basically this happens on a lot of computers here. I have no idea why. And let's add some windows to this car as well. Also add, you know, a little door there for you as well here. But this happens to a lot of computers here. I, I can't even tell you how much gaming PCs have an overheating issue here. So basically the reason why overheating is a problem with your PC, as you can already guess, is basically if your car overheats, what happens to it? It either shuts off or it goes into limp mode where you can't go fast at all, right? It's not even going close to the speeds that it can go. So basically it's the same thing for your PC. Basically, if either your GPU or your CPU is overheating or your entire PC is overheating, what happens is it's going to try to protect itself. So it's gonna put you in a limp mode and you might not even realize it because it's so smart these days, but it'll put you in the limp mode just like a car and you're gonna be wondering why is my FPS so low? Why does the game feel so bad? And that's because your PC is overheating there. And the way that you could check this is you could go to hardware info 64, right? And you could just press start here. You could download that. Um, I'll put the link down below if you guys want it. And basically you just go to sensors and the two sensors that you wanna check is basically your CPU, which is like right here, right? Or your core temperatures, 44 degrees is perfectly fine. Anything over 90 degrees Celsius, that's a problem. And you wanna go to your GPU temperatures, right? And you could find that somewhere down here. So basically you wanna check your temperatures and make sure that it's lower than 90 degrees there Celsius, and you should be fine here. And if it is higher than 90 degrees, that's when you reapply thermal paste and that's perfectly fine. Or basically you change out the fans or change out the AIO cooling and it gets more complicated than that, but I'll make a separate video for that. So that is the fourth reason that you are getting low FPS in general there. It's because your core is overheating here. And now the, I would say the fifth reason, but not the final reason, right? Is the amount of background processes you have. So if you think of this like a car, right? Basically it's the amount of weight or extra passengers that you're carrying, right? So if this is 500, if your passenger is literally 500 pounds, right? Your car is not gonna go as fast as it should if you didn't have that passenger there. So what you wanna do is reduce the amount of background processes um, to improve the speed of your car in general. That's why you see like when a lot of cars, you see them do a whole bunch of uh, lightweight uh, kind of parts in a car. That way it could go faster because the the weight of the car guys is actually way more important than you think. Uh, the, the less weight it is, the easier that thing can go fast, right? And the background processes, you could see here, you could see it by your CPU uh, usage, you could see it by your memory usage, especially. And you don't want this to go over a certain limit there and you wanna reduce as much background tasks uh, that you can as possible. You could go to your startup programs, disable some of them, but there's more stuff uh, that you can do with that. And I would definitely watch my other videos to see like what you can do with your background processes as we, we make videos about that. Um, and the last thing I would say that you could do for your car is give it an oil change, right? And basically the way that you give it an oil change is by letting, like viewing, let, your, let a technician view your car and make sure to diagnose your car and make sure that your PC is working as it should. So basically the same way that you take whatever kind of car you have, right? To a technician, get an oil change on it, right? Or you even do your own oil change, to be honest. It's the same thing for a car as well. You gotta clean it, 
You got to make sure the oil change. You got to make sure that all everything's running perfectly fine. So your PC requires an oil change as well. And that's what we do over at SenseQuality.com. And you could go ahead and check us out with our website down below there. But basically, if you want to do your own oil changes, you can just watch my other videos and those will help for sure with getting your <laughs> with getting your PC an oil change and making sure that it's up to date and running as smooth as possible here. But I just wanted to go through the five things. So the number one thing is the GPU, right? The engine. You want to make sure your engine is as fast as possible. Two ways, upgrade it or overclock it, which we have a video about. The number two way is your CPU. You want to make sure your CPU is as fast as possible, right? And number three, your RAM, right? The amount of fuel you have in your car, right? You want to make sure you have as much gigabytes as possible and as much megahertz as possible, okay? Number four is going to be overheating, right? You want to make sure that your PC is not overheating. And an easy way to do that is going to hardware info. And you could fix it by either getting a better cooling system for your computer, fan, AIO, et cetera, right? Or what you can do is make sure to replace the thermal paste of your, your CPU or your GPU, and that should be good as well. And of course, the fifth thing is getting it checked by a technician there or going through our videos and making sure that your car is running as functional as possible here. So basically, I hope this helps, guys. Let me know if it helped down below. And again, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.